So we're going to talk about sound and sound information is going to be in 4.4. For this project number four, you need to do 4.2, which is the pixel art and 4.4, which is the sounds. And we're, that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you're interested in an exceeds on project number four, actually, let me just show you that real quick. So once again, this project is just do 4.2 and do 4.4 and get it complete on both and you'll get a meets on this project. If you want to get an exceeds, you'll need to go beyond the basics that were required in 4.2 and 4.4. That could be making multiple characters, multiple objects, animating a lot of stuff. Um, it could mean making a more complex song that you know it's like good like i think we're gonna get if my if my experience in beatbox is anything to go on um there's probably going to be a lot of songs that are technically songs um like you can listen to them and they have notes but they're not really what we would consider good music at least mine <laughs> you'll see you'll hear mine um, some of you might be able to spend some time on your song and make it into actually something that that is fun to listen to. And if you have other ideas of things that you might want to do for an exceeds, let me know. But again, the minimum, all you have to do is 4.2 and 4.4. Get a complete on both of those and I will mark this assignment as complete. Okay, so let's go back and take a look at 4.4. Okay, so your job this time is to, cre to create a song that could be used in your game and a sound effect that could be used in your, your game. There's a couple videos here. Yeah, so these are two. I thought they were the same for a second, but they're obviously different videos. Um, this guy kind of talks about how he thinks about creating a melody, like a basic melody. And then um, this guy talks a little bit about music theory and stuff like that. So if you're interested in making a better song, you could look at those. Um, and then for the sound effects, just think about something that you might want in your game. Like what kinds of sounds do you want? And then think about what they might what they might sound like, and I'll show you two ways that you can make sound effects. 